Yes, it's another episode on the moment with precious chat show right here on my channel with me precious amabel levy we continue the discussion sierra leoneans are ready to choose that one person within the 16 district in sierra leone to represent i mean to be the face for the next 300 365 days who is it going to be is it going to be me is it going to be you is it going to be miss Bo? Miss Bakeni, Miss Kabbalah, Miss Western Area. Well, we are going to find out sometimes in September. Today on the Moment with Precious Chat Show, we continue the conversation as we see on social media. Sierra Leoneans are rooting for their favorite contestant, and we've seen the momentum, the hype. In September, the whole world is going to come to a standstill where Sierra Leoneans will have to choose that one lucky person, not just a beautiful woman, not just beauty in outward appearance, but with intellect, with poise, with attitude. We want to see that. Well, today, to forge the conversation, I have with me one of the representatives, one of the people, the queens vying for the Miss Sierra Leone 2019, and she is Miss Bo. Yes, Miss Bo is here with us on the platform today, and she is Miss um, Fatmata Soa. Yes, Miss Fatmata Soa. Hello, and welcome to Moments with Precious Chat Show. Hello. All right, so let's start the ball rolling. Sierra Leoneans will be eager to know. Who is Miss Bo? Tell us everything there is to know about you. Okay, so um, my name is Fatma Tassoa and I'm Miss Bo, representing Bo for the Miss Sierra Leone this year. All right, and so do you go to school? Have you been to college before? Some of those things that people will not have the opportunity to ask you, but they want to know about. Yes, I'm at I'm a type Pam and I'm pursuing BS in applied accounting year too. I've been into pageantry and Miss Serelin is my seventh pageant. Seventh? Well, just like the other day I was saying, it seems as if this year it's going to be a tight contest. The reason being, we've got experienced queens. We've got experienced people that have been part of the process. We've got people that have worked down that aisle, that are confident enough. And we've heard from Miss Bo, the seventh. Seventh. Now, one would like to know, why do you choose to go in for Miss Sierra Leone when you've gone through seven, which six. I'm sure is the seventh. Is the seventh. Yeah. When you've gone through six, which I'm sure you've won um, one or all. two of them. You've won all six. Yes. Okay. So it seems to say we have a big weight here. So all of them, you, you, you've I actually, okay, come out, you know, outstanding. And Sir, Miss Sierra Leone... Is the seven? Yes. Why choose Miss Sierra Leone? Uh, Miss Sierra Leone, I can say, is every consistent dream pageant because it shows you to the world. Um, your plat your platform is out there, and your talent. Everybody gets to know who Miss Sierra is, or Miss this, or Miss this. So, um, basically, uh, Miss Sierra Leone is a goal <laughs> for all dream for girls in pageantry. Um, my main motive of contesting for Miss Sierra Leone. It's not just about the glamour, because that's really not it. So, creating an impact in the life of Sierra Leone young girls, children, and specifically the homeless aged. It's my main, um, I can say, what motivated me to compete for the pageant. Okay, and, and definitely we're going to go there, you know. And But let's come to something um, um, of quite importance as your project, all right? So everybody wants to be Miss Sierra Leone, everybody wants to go there, but we all know it takes more than just wishing yeah. to be on that stage that they were. You've got, you're, you're going to have not just 7 million people to represent the world. Sierra Leoneans in and out of Sierra Leone, foreigners, they are going to be 
on your case that particular day. Now, let's talk about your level of confidence. How confident are you going to be on the 14th? Out of 100, I'm 95% confident. 95%? I think that's a good stat. Yeah. And why do you think your level of confidence is on top? Like, A? If, if, if I'm competing and I'm not confident enough in myself, so I think it's no point for me competing because I do not believe in myself. So me competing, I have to be confident enough that I'm going to win. Okay, well, it's about self-confidence. It's about self-esteem. Yeah. It's about knowing what you want, want. where you're going, yeah. and you're competing only against yourself and nobody. Not so I else. know when you go on the stage, it's going to be you it's gonna and you alone. It's going to be me and me. Uh-huh, that's the <laughs> spirit. That's the spirit. Now, let's come to something quite important again. Beauty in recent times have been defined not by what we see physically. Because many a time when we watch this beauty pageant shows and all, you'll see they have beautiful bodies. You see when it comes to talent show, yes, they're A plus and all. But when it comes to questioning, when it comes to convincing the audience on why you think you should be A, why you think you should be Miss B, there comes the problem, yeah. all right? And what platform have you chosen for this coming Miss Sierra Leone? Um, my platform actually is not just about Miss Sierra Leone. Um, it has always been, I've always been passionate about my platform, but I've never practiced it because I had not the right stage or platform, as I always say in my interviews, yeah. to advocate or say what really it's all about. So my platform for the Miss Sierra Leone is the homeless agent I'm advocating on their behalf. So I think the Miss Cerulean stage, which is a national thing, will be the right place or stage for me to advocate on the on on behalf of the homeless age aid because um, everybody in the country is interested in Miss Cerulean, mm -hmm. uh, the world at large. So me voicing it out on the stage, or for people to know exactly what I feel or what I know about my platform or the topic. I think will create a lot of impact to help the homeless agent. Yes, and uh, you know this is this this platform that you 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 will be working on or you are working on is someone some someone that is dear to my heart once said, "As you are, so I was, and as I am, so you shall be," which means. Everybody is going to go through, and we are all praying yeah. to get old. Yeah. We all pray to God that we reach three score and ten. Once a man, twice a child. Exactly. And so old people, the elderly persons, the aged, all right? In Sierra Leone, it seems to see they are not an integral part of society because they're being left out, yeah. because they're being, I would not say marginalized, but it seems to see they're being discriminated yeah, against. Yeah, all right. Now... How do you intend going about it when society cares only about the young ones as though we are not going to grow old? It's so good that we have a lot of organizations working with children, young girls, women. But I think we also have to focus on the fact that we have, we have elderly people, we have old people. These people, we need them. They are very important in the society. So I think that people should start focusing focusing on them and people should start hearing the cry because they have cried for so long. And I think this is the time I, I'm going to stand in that gap to see that they are crazy ahead. Okay, and you being a voice, it has to start from somewhere yeah. because... A lot of times people take Freetown to be Sierra Leone. Everything is centralized in Freetown. And when even you look at Freetown, along Shaka Stevens Street, along Kisi Road, you, yeah, see you see homeless people. Old people. Exactly. Feeble ones. Yeah. Even to cross the road, pedestrian areas, yeah, you don't get young people to hold the hands mm -hmm. of older people yeah. to, you know, just cross the road. It's hardly, you not you will not see them as compared to other places in the world. Right. Now, like I said, your platform is quite important and quite delicate, yeah. very sensitive. Given the fact that we have only one home in the whole yeah, of Sierra Leone, that's St. George's King home at yeah. um, uh, um, Gafton. Yeah. Right. How do you intend to get these old people on the streets, in there, 
because they have the home. I've been working with them. They have so many constraints. One, because they're not having support yeah. and all. So and now you... home is actually small because they are having only capacity for 50. Imagine the whole of Sierra Leone. We have a, a single home and their capacity is 50. When I, when, I, when I got to know that their capacity was 50, I was like, like, wow, the whole of Sierra Leone, the only home, just have capacity for 50 old people. Hmm. So it's something that we really have to look into and need to do something about. Yeah, and if you are to become Miss Sierra Leone, like let's say, for example, this interview is after Miss Sierra Leone and you, you happen to emerge as the winner, where would you start your campaign? Where would you start your lobbying in, in, in getting the old people, the aged, out from the streets? Um, basically, I was thinking of um, having a project for them. But, um, I was planning to work with the King Judge home for the aged. So in collaboration with them, I want to build a home so in that home i want to have a hospital just for them okay yes a hospital just for them because i noticed that even the king judge home only has a single nurse imagine having 50 old people and there's only a nurse hmm. there's only a nurse so i believe that these old people really need care attention and love because basically when you're old that's just all what you need so they are so close to my heart. I was raised by my grandparents, and I met three great grandparents. So my my life has always been around the old people. So I would like, I, I want, I would want to have a home for them, and in that home they will have a hospital to free medical health care, good food, shelter, and of course comfort. Okay, and um, in terms of government, because we all know for you to um, materialize a project. You must have the political will, just like we have the hand suffer girls, just like we have the women and girls empowerment, yeah. we have the free education and all. Are you thinking about engaging the Ministry of Social Welfare, Gender and Children's Affairs? Yeah, yeah. Since it's on their, under their yeah, body yeah, that yeah. um, the old people default, yeah. have you been thinking along that line? Yes, 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 that's it. You've, you, you've been thinking yeah, about been thinking getting about them No, involved. I actually can do it on my own because I have to involve them all. Um, the social welfare or, or, yeah, the social welfare all really had to look into it and they have to work with me and I have to work with them because the workload is not easy on them. They have so many areas to focus on. So I think it's um, probably that's leading them to a little bit forget about the old. So... Mm -hmm. I was just like, we have to do this. Okay. All right. Well, good luck with your project. Let's come down to fun facts about you. You know, um, I was talking to the other contestants. Some are getting slimmer, some wear fat, they're getting all <laughs> slim. Others are not practicing their body tone. They said they're going. But I can see you are already a size eight, a yes, size it's six. Size six. It's just me. It has always been like this since they were. All right, and you going there to perform, you know, talent show and all, right? You're going to be working with your buddy most definitely, all right? Oh, so yeah. how, what are Sierra Leoneans, what, what, what should Sierra Leoneans um, expect that day from you? It's just going to be wow, like every appearance, wow. Mm. <laughs> yes. Well, Sierra Leoneans, we're ready about. We're ready for that. Wow, wow. everything is just gonna be <laughs> wow. wow. All right. Well, in case you're just joining, this is the moment with Precious Chat Show, and I've been having here uh, the representative for the Miss Sierra Leone 2019 beauty pageant that is going to take place in September, and she is representing Bo Miss Bo. She's going to represent board district and we've been talking to her and oh well in case you're just joining again we are here at the dickens bar the atlantic lonely hotel where you feel home away from home let's have a talk from our sponsors and when we come back we'll now talk about another important segment that you all will be waiting to hear from her Welcome to the luxurious Seafront Atlantic Lumbly Hotel. 
let's take a tour where class meets professionalism. Our 57 spacious rooms include a presidential suite that caters for business professionals with comfy beds, jacuzzi, and a study to make you feel home away from home. We offer top-notch Italian cuisine and local delicacies that will appeal to your taste bird at our Loft Italicious restaurants. You can't afford to miss our English-style Dickens Bar that offers a wide selection of branded beer and liquor with great music ambience. Our atrium serves a multi-purpose entertainment function from daytime relaxation to an unwinding lively spot for your birthdays, wedding receptions and other special events with an oceanic breathtaking sea view. Call us today for bookings and reservations. Welcome back to Moments with Precious and I am your host Precious Amabel Levy. Yes, festive season is on and we're continuing the conversation on the road that leads to Miss Rillion 2019. Now, Miss Bo, relationship is very key in your journey because you need people to support you. Yeah. You need a manpower. You cannot do it alone. You have 16 other contestants that are vying for the same position. Yeah. Tell us about your relationship with them, whether you're close to any of them or all of them. Basically, I'm someone that's very friendly and I don't find competition to be something you're going to hate someone for or make enemies. So I think, and I am friendly with everybody. Probably you might not be friendly with me, <laughs> but I'm close to everybody. I have long chat with everybody when we meet, play, laugh, you know, that's just it. Okay, and to every positive, there is a negative aspect of it. In all of the efforts that you've put into Miss Sierra Leone, like I said, let's take, for example, you're here now as Miss Sierra Leone. So let's do it the other way around. What if you do not emerge as the winner of Miss Sierra Leone 2019? What happens to your platform? What happens to your name, you as a person, after that? Well, I may win Miss Sorelina or not, I know after Miss Sorelina, I'm going to level up. That's one. And concerning my platform, my platform is a goal goal, Miss Sorelina or not. I'm just using the Miss Sorelina platform to really advocate because it's a national thing. So me advocating on a national platform would aid me get it simpler. So whether I win Miss Sorelina or not, I'll go on with it. Mm. And Sorelinians would like to know, why you where, why do you think they should cast their votes their votes for miss soa why you why me that's a very important and tricky question mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so basically most of them know me as they and most they know so and people are out there who has already got consistent to support and some are still thinking who should i support mm -hmm. so um I, I can always say, follow your heart and watch, choose who you feel is most appropriate to represent your country. Because it's not just about being Miss Australian. You being Miss Australian, you have to represent your country internationally. So it's not about you, the individual, it's about the country. So because if you go there and do anything off, it's going to be, oh, the Miss Australian, the Miss Australian. So I think they should um, vote for me because... I think I'm competent okay. and I can represent William internationally. Okay. And and as we talk about the importance, why this is important for you, what would you use your platform to do? Now you have the old people, yes, we know that. But then we have young people too, we have people of your age, every each and every sector they have their own. All right. You going for the crown, right, you have the platform. How would you use it to represent Sierra Leone internationally, to change, give a facelift of Sierra Leone, make Sierra Leone? If I'm fortunate to win Miss Sierra Leone and I go out there, my platform will still be about the homeless aged. And I'll make the world know that there are aged people in Sierra Leone that are really suffering. So mm. because of the less um, focus on them in our country because of one or two reasons. You know, Sierra Leone is not developed. We are still struggling. 
so there are a lot of um challenges so basically i'll just advocate on their behalf okay that's really nice are suffering so you can ask for help from them because they are international bodies and they are developed so that's it okay all right so well now you have an opportunity to talk to Sierra Leoneans now it's been about moments with pressures it's been about me now the whole world is watching give them a talk talk to them including your number including just uh, like you just said the reason why they should vote for you so the world is watching you now um hello again Surelinians I am Fatma Tasoa representing both for this Miss Surelin 2019 so basically I'm only going to plea that you please support me and I guarantee that your support will definitely not go to waste on that day I promise it's just going to be a wow factor for me So I believe I'm competent enough to represent Sweden internationally and I can do it with you and me we can do it thank you very much um my short code is is 25 so you can text 25 to 322 via Facebook or you simply dial star 322 hash and choose the options that um you have by Choosing the number that has my name on it. Thank you. All right, well, viewers out there, we have been having an interesting conversation on the moment with Precious Chat Show, and today's on take home is wow. So you're out there, you're thinking what Miss Erlion is gonna be like. It's gonna be just wow. wow. <laughs> Watch out for Miss Bo. Watch out for the representative from. Miss Bo and everything is going to be just wow. wow. Well, it's been exciting being here today on the platform and I know you all have enjoyed yourself. Well, all of what leads to the Bintumani Conference Center on the 14th of September 2019 where Sierra Leoneans will decide who would be the face of Sierra Leone for the next 365 days. It's been an exciting time here today and I have been your host Precious Amabel Lebby. Plenty thanks and appreciation to our production crew that's Fresh Photography and also Andrew Conte and the Pass Africa Online Television crew. Till we meet again here is where we'll draw down the curtain for today. Remember, if you want to feel home away from home, make it a date at the Dickens bar at Lumbly Beach Atlantic Lumbly Hotel and also we have the atrium for all your party wedding receptions and other events that you like to have and also we have the loved italicious restaurant where they will appeal to your taste bud so till then we say tata <laughs>